Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place. For those who can hear its call. There is much that will draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. After Malak and his army were defeated, instead of restoring order to Korriban, Revan suddenly departed, leaving both his destination and reasons for leaving a mystery. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb 
was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these hisses as thralls to their will. the great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos's successor. Is the tomb of Naga Sadao, successor to Marka Ragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil, with their leader gone. Many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, 
resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. This was the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. His skill was considered remarkable even in his time, when many true lightsaber masters lived. If you were to face an ancient Sith Lord in combat, you would learn that we are as children playing with toys compared to the prowess of the old masters. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. This way leads to the tomb of Ajanta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan sent Ajanta Paul's spirit into oblivion and claimed the blade for himself. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. You can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protected secrets. Listen, 
The wind from the cave tells of great power within, recently awakened. Yes, a great powerful stench. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. to even the odds.
is mine. Face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready?
do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. The Jedi Council is wise, but can make mistakes. History has proven this time and time again. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? You should trust in yourself and in your instincts. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. wisdom bred only in action, and that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest. So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. She didn't join us that day. But in time, she came to our way of thinking. And even before then, she wavered and wondered what would have happened. It is a familiar path. There were those who wished to follow you to war, yet remain behind. They came to hate you for the choices they wished to make. Are you so certain? Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you. But the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side.
Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? 